chip yep. under her chin. That's called a crop. All of the food goes into that holding chamber. It's there for the next 12 to 16 hours. Can you see it now? Um, <laughs> the crop will sort out the digestible from the indigestible. The digestible will be turned over into her stomach and then the fur and feather comes up, it rolled up and comes up in a like cup. Like owl pellets. Yeah. The difference with an owl pellet though is an owl's food goes into its stomach, then fur, feather and all of the skeleton comes up. Yeah. Their, um, their crop digests bone. So all the bone is digested. And what comes up with an owl, what comes up is a slimy pellet. With them, a very clean cast comes up. It's not covered in slime or whatever. Yeah. However, they have enzymes in their crop that allow them to turn that stuff over and turn it into a, um, into a pellet, a cast. Um, and that's why they must have fur and feather. An owl doesn't actually need to. I mean, you know, it's good for them to have it, but, but an owl, you could feed beef food if you actually wanted to. That's what it was, I think. Plus, it's just going over. With, um, with um, the owl, you can feed beef food. Yeah, that's what I was saying. With these, if you just fed her lean red beef, she won't be able to turn over her crop. The enzymes, the, um, the what you call mucus, if you like, that is in there, will then not get turned over every day. It gets infected. They get a thing called sour crop and die. So you have to be very careful that they do have roughage. So although it's quite gory to look at, it's what she needs. Mm. Okay. And now you'll see the crop is enormous. you're holding the bird on her chest and it, yeah, yeah? It, um, if, it, if you're singly yep. and she can you'll just put it between yep. the two yeah absolutely yeah yeah she'd go straight into lock yeah into here uh, because th there's two things really one you want her to associate your fist as the comfortable successful place to feed yeah for a, for a hole okay mm -hmm. so